Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in. As you all know, for the past couple of months, I've been using Microsoft Edge as my main browser, playing with its features and getting to know its ins and outs. Uh, thus far, I'm really enjoying using it. I'm finding that it's loading web pages really quickly. And in some previous videos, I've looked at some other really cool features that are included with Edge. But today, we're going to look at one of the coolest features, which is the immersive reading mode. So let's jump in and check out how this works. So I've got this tips and tricks inside Microsoft's Edge browser article open. And one of the things that I find really annoying when I'm trying to read an article online are all of the flashing ads in the sidebar. Now, this web page doesn't have too many ads, but I've definitely come across uh, web pages that are just riddled with flashing ads, and it's super annoying and super distracting when you're trying to read the content. Well, most browsers have a reading mode that eliminates the unnecessary content on a web page, but Edge uh, has this immersive reader mode that has a couple of extra features that are pretty cool. So to activate it, You'll come up to your address bar on this, this little button of an open book with a speaker on top of it, and it says enter immersive reader, or you can press the F9 key on your keyboard if you like keyboard shortcuts. So when we click on this, all of the ads and all the unnecessary stuff on that page go away, and now I just have the core content, which is great. And I've got a number of different options. If I bring my mouse up to the top, I get this little toolbar. I can actually pin that so it stays open all the time, but I've got a couple of really cool options. First of all, I have this read aloud option. So if I click Tips on that. Tips and tricks inside Microsoft Search Browser. The new Chromium version of. You can hear that the browser then reads me this article in real time, which is something Chrome has done for a long time, but it's nice to see that this was included. If I close out of the voice options, now I get a couple of other options. So first thing is I have a text preferences pane, which allows me to change the text size, I can change the text spacing to this wider spacing that apparently improves reading fluency. I actually find this a little bit hard to look at, so I prefer that to be off. I also have some page themes. So I've got a white background, a sepia background, sort of a purplish hue. I can do the inverted colors, a green background, and so on and so forth. So you can go through this and find the background and theme that's best suited to your eyes. So. That's pretty basic stuff. In our reading preferences, preferences menu, we also get this line focus option that actually allows you to block out the rest of the page and only show a certain number of lines at a time. I probably wouldn't use this, but if you were, um, let's say, having a younger, newer reader reading some content on the web, um, uh, this could be a pretty useful feature. It's almost like when I was younger and learning to read, I would use a note card to block off the other line so I wouldn't get distracted. So that's kind of a nice feature that's built in, especially for younger readers. So we can shut that off. The other thing that's really nice, which will, uh, I think, appeal to all of you educators out there are the grammar tools. And that actually allows you to first split the words into syllables. So it gives little dots between the syllables. Also, you can highlight different parts of speech in different colors. So if you wanted to print out some little story and highlight all the nouns for a lesson, you could simply check off nouns and then all of the nouns automatically get highlighted in a different color. We can do the same with verbs and so on and so forth. So this is kind of nice. This might be a useful tool for any teachers out there that may want to use some content from the web to help in some reading lessons and um, you'd be able to print this or take a screenshot of it and then share that with your class, which is pretty cool. So all in all, I find this to, uh, to be a pretty comprehensive immersive reading mode um, that's included with Edge and it's definitely something I'm going to be experimenting with as I go forward. So that's all I've got for you today. I hope this was helpful. If you play with the immersive reading mode in Edge and have a good or bad experience, please leave a comment. I'd love to know how you feel about this feature of Edge. Um, and definitely hit that subscribe button if you like these videos. I release new tech tips every weekday at noon. Check out the DAE.com for our full list of online workshops, classes, private lessons, and summer camp. And if you have an idea for a tech tip you'd like to see me create, throw it in the comments and I'll do my best. Thanks and have a great day.